episode 71 Hex. you almost said seven yeah episode 71 of the optic podcast oh, I should today we're that. we're rocking a three-person uh wave no we're rocking the fly cast plus one you stole that from me off cam <laughs> <laughs> we'll let it slide. <laughs> I did. We'll let it slide. But I had it in my head before you even said it that this is oh. literally just the fly fly cast plus big T. Yeah, that's. Cool. I did steal the plus one though. No, that's all good. Yeah, you guys have been doing the fly cast for two two years, three uh, years. Kind of. We started two I years mean, ago. Yeah. yeah. Episode. We're what, on episode 200? 23. 23, Okay. <laughs> twenty three. Twenty three in two episodes. years. <laughs> I mean, that's like an episode a month. Is it? Oh, like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, two years ago. Because you started yeah. in the scuff house, and that was, that, was like, yeah. that was damn near two and a half years ago. Yeah. It's like one a month. Damn. Except. You you're good, right? Joe? <laughs> Joe's over there breaking cameras. <laughs> yeah, our Are schedule we... is terrible. We just do one. We'll do like four in a month, and then we'll just skip a few months. Yeah. You get a lot of content in between that way, right? A lot of, yeah. a lot of stuff happens. Stuff to talk Call about. of Duty revives. Fucking yeah. Call of Seth Duty gets a hundred k. Seth gets a hundred. Is that is that our transition into it? That's it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you knew we had to get there somehow. <laughs> I, was, I was busy looking at his sub train rather than the, the gameplay itself. Yeah, same. Shit was fucking twenty thirty one hundred. He Probably. did hit over three k. Yeah, I'm wow. pretty sure because I was like, yeah. yeah. Congratulating him. Oh, you, <laughs> you were probably bitching. <laughs> I was telling George, I was like, I should probably tweet out, look, guys, anybody can do it. Seth just started streaming two weeks ago and is already. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, like 30, no, 21K subs? Yeah, I think 21. Well, when at? I tuned in yesterday, yeah. or yeah, yesterday, he had. How many subs did he get yesterday? Because I swear to God, he has sixteen thousand. Yeah, he I got think. like he got like five to six k yesterday. Wow. Yeah, when I started in the two k, the semifinals were starting, and he had twenty eight thousand viewers, and I thought that was like that was insane for a two k because even the events last year was getting what twenty, thirty yeah, World War Two events, something like that. What do you think the view count would be if Optic wasn't in the finals? Like just average shit yeah like no one would care no one would have been talking about it that's so true it's kind of crazy like how much cod like i don't want to say need the optic cod team but like no you're right the past few champs when they got knocked out even the biggest tournament of the year the viewers dead after yeah there's no hype behind it cut by half yeah it's like you either want to see optic win or optic lose that's true which I don't know why. It's not like that in any other sport. Like, if you're following your favorite basketball team or football team, they don't make it to the Super Bowl in the finals. Don't you still watch it? The yeah. yeah. I mean, live people watch. Like, people that fly out there and stuff. They There's still a lot of people that watch live, but right. I, don't, I don't know how it is online. Because I've been to the last, like, few COD champs. And it's still pretty, it's a pretty good environment during the finals but people people have been saying that the viewership is just dead whenever yeah. optics not in it so it's weird. not 100k that was the most that was for sure the most viewers he's ever had right 100,000 yeah. for Seth individually yeah yeah, yeah. cuz he was freaking out when it was like 50k and i yeah. swear within it was that jungle I don't know what Control. happened. I don't know if Ninja did he end up hosting him. Ninja at the end? hosted him. Oh, that on is some, what happened. On some Ninja, five thousand I mean, IQ shit. Okay, I Ninja thought maybe Twitch put him, him on the homepage or something because I was watching this jungle control and he jumped from like seventy nine thousand to one ten in yeah. like thirty yeah. seconds. Uh, yeah, Ninja hosted him. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. But my that was the smartest thing Ninja could have done because everybody was just talking about. Isn't how it set. sad though that like that's like a. I don't think Ninja's thinking of it as like, actually, subconsciously, even if I was Ninja, I'd be like, like if I host Seth, it's like, it's almost like a business move. They're going to talk about me. Yeah, like they're like, going like, oh, to like, see how good like, of a guy It's like a I good am. business move, even though I know like from his heart, he's not looking at it like a business move, but I think like subconsciously, it's like, yeah. this is a good decision. Oh, Without for sure. Yeah, yeah. Because as soon as Ninja hosted him, I was like, 
Everyone in the chat's <laughs> like, yeah. he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone in the chat's like, Ninja, Ninja, Ninja. Yeah, right. now it, it went from Seth versus Ninja. Like, Seth has more views than Ninja. Oh my God, too. Ninja supporting Call of Duty. Ninja yeah. supporting Seth. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Seth calling it out. Just like, Tyler, thank you so much. And yeah. then all of Ninja's fans are like, oh my God, they know each other. Yeah. It's just like, it, it just went from such a like borderline, like getting close to toxic. Yeah. To then just Ninja hosting Seth. And then it's just everything was positive. I was like, Ninja's a, he's a beast. Yeah. He that's the game, man. Doing. Yeah. I had no idea the, uh, their map count was undefeated whenever I was watching. Yeah. 33 and 0. I think I was like, oh, they're about a 3 0. And then I was like, how many maps have they dropped this event? And they were like, they haven't dropped one. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, that's kind of crazy. Dude. Well, it was 33 and 0 they went. I think that's what, yeah, that's what Damon I think tweeted. That's out. what Damon tweeted, but I think he was wrong. It's either like 27. I've seen I 27, tw- I've seen 30, yeah. and I've seen 33. I think it's either 27. So. Somewhere I think they were, I think they were 27 and 0 going into finals. I could be wrong because I didn't watch. But I think they were 27 and 0. I think it's either twenty seven or thirty, but they I would have had to play a lot of matches regardless because it started with what like eight hundred, eight hundred teams, minus one. I don't. That's minus one. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude! I invited you guys. Yeah, but sitting we, didn't, there, we didn't know there was a there. deadline. I told you at lunch. I told you I was like, I gotta invite you like five days early because there's a deadline. You didn't tell us. If if you, I don't think you, I saw the deadline either because I thought it was crazy the fact that there's. I thought it was the night before, like midnight uh, before. Yeah, Yeah, I just got lucky that I accepted it on (laughs) Wednesday, I think. I was telling everybody, I'm like, like, Will's responsible, man. Like, he (laughs) knew. (laughs) Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, I accepted it on Wednesday night, and then I think it closed on on Thursday. So I was just about to try to use what little influence we have left to try to get in the tournament like right. 30 minutes before and yeah. i was like fuck this dude. Yeah. i'm not even gonna try like the bracket was that's, already made i'm like yeah, they're not that's gonna why do I, it. that's why i asked hitch i was like do, hitch, you know? do you know anyone at gb <laughs> i wasn't about to try yeah but to dm adam apostella be like help please yeah right they would have been like i wonder if we could have got in if we really tried i don't think so yeah, man yeah there's not. no way they had way too much shit to deal with Hell right oh yeah a that's probably a day bracket. in hell for like refs for sure it is Dude, <laughs> imagine the <laughs> amount of people complaining. the The amount of people saying like the other teams aren't showing up. The amount of people yeah. saying like they're you, they use something they're not allowed, and like they got to show proof. And, they're like, time torching. <laughs> yeah, dude. I We're think fellow torched. tweeted. Fellow tweeted that he they beat somebody. They first round. They're a pro team. They beat some random team. The team tweeted them said you guys can have the W for the round. And then disputed. And then disputed. <laughs> first round. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he was like it's going to be a long day. <laughs> Bro, did you guys see um did you see Aches go off on the rant about uh-huh. how like the 2K shouldn't be a thing. Like amateur teams shouldn't be able to play pro teams and he was comparing it to like you know, you can't walk into LA Fitness and play like the fucking <laughs> Lakers every Saturday yeah, or something. Right. They're not just waiting on you, dude. That it is was true. It was the funniest shit I've seen in so long. You gotta go watch it. Man. <laughs> Wait, he did like a video or something? Nah, he, they were just in the game and he uh, fucking like freaked mm-hmm. out for two minutes straight, and he was just yelling at the top of his lungs. Uh, 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 uh. He was like, "I can't go play fucking Faker anytime I want. It doesn't work like that, man. I'm fucking done." That is true because yeah. it is like a waste of time. Like, it is for the pro teams. Yeah. yeah, you don't see like a. <clears throat> It's very, very rare you'll see, like, an amateur team. I mean, there's obviously, like, good amateur teams, but it's, like, oh, they dude. should be playing the other AM teams to, like, right. earn a spot to play against the pro teams. Right. Like, it shouldn't just be... No, the point he was making was perfect. Like, you yeah. just can't go play a professional fucking <laughs> football team with your, your pickup flag football squad every yeah. Saturday. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, literally a waste of time. Yeah. But, uh, the tournament's two days. Right. Yeah. And they were just smoking people, too. Like, they weren't even calling out. They were just complaining the whole time and beating them, like, two... F- I think the first map, they won, like, 250 to nine yeah. or something. I mean, so, I can two see. K's, that's how 2Ks have always been. Right. Just the same with, like, open... Like, if, if, if pro teams have to play through open bracket, literally, it's like... I've watched pro teams just sit there and just... And they're and just they're going through the motions. Yeah, and they're yeah. just destroying teams. <laughs> yeah. So, at, I mean, I think at, at the beginning of the year, it's just it's hard for uh, for MLG and for Activision, mm-hmm. I guess, to determine who is pro t- who are pro teams of that year because rosters have changed so much. 
But then I guess you could do it based off of, you know, the individual pro points of the pro players. So, right. Which was that that goes back to the, the whole proofy versus courage thing that happened on Twitter a couple like last year. I think last year at this time is the same thing. What happened? Proof was like, I should, you know, I, sh- I, I, they had to play five GBs a day to get enough pro po- or to get pro points. So like, you know, there's like a CWL like bracket or ladder. Yeah. yeah. So you get pro points based off of those GBs. Right. So not like a playoff bracket, just the ladder. You just, just the ladder. Play you a... just set up a game and you oh. play a game. And so uh. in order to, you could only get, you know, five pro points a day right. or whatever, something like that. And you had to play five matches. So these pro teams had to play five GB matches every single day in order to Damn. maximize their pro points. So then proof, <coughs> proof complained about it on uh on twitter because you know he uh he was like i'm setting up these gb matches and then i'm getting like random people but these people are playing proof right. and i'm just playing random matches <laughs> to get my gb points yeah so these guys are going dumb hard yeah and so he was complaining about it but then other people were like well you're not a pro player right now so you can't you that can't was, complain and that was that probably hit, a tough pill to that swallow hits him <laughs> hard, you know? so he's going he's going you know, it, it 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 makes sense though. It makes sense how pro players would be you know frustrated by it, but there's also that other wave of just like wait. So Jack doesn't agree. He thinks that was like a good system. Well, no. Well, Jack Jack wasn't agreeing on the system. He was just saying like, hey, you, you can't like complain if people are going dumb hard against you. Oh, okay. Like right. if if I have a chance, he was like, <clears throat> if if I'm 16 and I have a chance to play proofy, yeah, I'm not gonna just. I'm gonna go hard as oh, hell. Oh, for sure I would. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's basically what he was saying. Gotcha. So that would definitely be. I don't know. Well, proof he wasn't pro at, at the time. No, this was this was last year after he left the scuff house. Oh. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I guess you can't really complain then. Yeah, that's what and that's what people were saying. Like, if this was Skump tweeting it, or Slasher tweeting it, then it it makes sense. Yeah. Speaking of Skump, I didn't realize. Or I I guess I knew, but I didn't think about the fact that they probably played so many bad teams yesterday. Do we even give them the undefeated map count? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> glory. Yeah. They, they, they were probably Technically, 15. they went like 6-0. Yeah. Two yeah. Pro teams. They were probably yeah. like 15-0 and 0 before they played a decent team. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I think we could have got past round one. I think we could have. I think we could have got that. I don't know. It, it just, <laughs> two people can't even accept their two people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough start, It man. just depends who we would have played. Dude, when, did I ever tell you about... So, we were playing GBs with uh, TST and Nick, and we got... I think it was two... We were losing one to two in control, and then Nick goes, wait, what What do you guys keep talking about lives? Like, lives matter? Yeah, and see, that's what I mean. You were in a shit. It's just like, all lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I was like, oh, shit. Oh. He just doesn't know. I was like, Nick, I've been calling out the lives for three rounds. And he was like, but I didn't know what you were talking about. I just thought it was like, I thought, I because I didn't hear, like, <laughs> lives until, like, towards the end of the game. And then I thought it was, like, some sudden death. You only have one life or like each, like, I thought it was like, if you didn't capture the point or the, you thought the numbers on the side, it was like the first to zero like wins see or something. Them. I didn't even like see them. I don't know. Oh, we got 20. Now we got 15. I thought it was like, going. since they didn't capture a, both a and B, it goes to sudden death, almost like a S and D or something. But like, it goes like, I mean, at the end of the game, I guess death. it's kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. Dude, there's going to be like but a I, 1v4, 1v3 clutch this yeah, year. Control, there's going to be like yeah. a 3 versus 9 or something. Yeah, like yeah. something crazy might happen. That is a good game mode. I, uh, yeah, I didn't know what I thought about it at first, but there's some there's some strategy. Yeah, yeah watching it, I think, I think I'd be good at it. Yeah. But now that you understand the rules. Yeah. Because I, I remember he said that, and I, like, I hit the back button. To look. I was like, wait, how many times have I died? I had like 24 deaths. They all had like 18, 16. Yeah. Like, I guess it could have been a lot worse. Because like they'd be like, give it up, give it up. And I'd just be like, what? I'm just jumping through the door. Just, I'm going to just die. Just insta-dying. Just not even a chance of killing him, but I'm just giving up lives. I, I like told George in the TST chat, I was like, yo, uh, Mike and Nick, choke the the <clears throat> sign up so we're not playing today and george was like lol and then blake was like y'all weren't winning a control anyway <laughs> 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 
That's just so funny. What do, what are you thinking about, Cod? Because I, I guess we haven't really talked about this on the podcast, or I haven't been on the last couple podcasts, but mm. uh, this is like the first Cod you've been grinding in like oh, bro, five almost, years. Yeah, man. I'm almost fifth prestige. It's the furthest I've ever prestiged Holy in a Cod, shit. even like Cod <laughs> 4 or anything. Yeah, Damn. I've been grinding, man. As far as like the rule set, I don't know, because I was watching the 2K yesterday, and are they... Is there a gentleman's agreement on like a bunch of shit? Yeah, I think they're gentlemen. They're well. I didn't see Ajax. I didn't see yeah. Torque. Like a lot of the shit that annoys me in GB matches, I didn't see. I so think I they was GA'd a lot. Oh, uh, okay. Apparently, there's a there's a a rule set floating around somewhere. That's the the official gentleman's agreement. And people agree to that, like when when it's money's on the teams. line. Yeah, like, yeah. Apparently, really? hmm. it's like no Ajax, no no Torque. No, uh, I, I don't. I can't remember if Vision Pulse is in there or not. But and then in S and D, there's no streaks, right? Yeah, I think that's good yeah. of a glitch, though. It there's w- some kind of glitch that allows you to like keep your progression of streaks even if you die. Ah. So they just they disable uh. it. Probably once they fix it, though. Along with the other shit, should, I don't even think there should be streaks in S and D, regardless, because you get so many points for assists in this game. Yeah. That every round it just seems like everybody has a dart and a R C car. Right. Maybe ban R C cars or something. Or make it to where well I guess I think they did buff flak jacket. My biggest gripes were like the Ajax, the Torque, like not being able to walk through fucking razor wire, which is torque. Like I just want attack mass to be stronger, flak jacket to be stronger, but I think they did yeah. that. Yeah, the and shit I see with the razor wire. I at first, whenever I first started playing COD, I was like, "This shit sucks." Yeah. And then, but like you, you, you see, pro teams scrimming, and it's like or just a razor wire at the door, and they're just like, <sighs> "Yeah." And they just gotta go like all the way around because their teammates are all spread out. Unless you want to just stand there and use three clips to. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, somebody's that shit, just gonna spray you down. Literally while you're takes, th- I think, three whole clips to destroy a razor wire. Yeah. yeah. Or a rocket, but and, I don't and think then you you're can out use of those. Ammo. Yeah. Or a rocket, yeah. but who's running that in their <laughs> backpack? And yeah, I think they banned screens. that. So I don't even know, man. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a good game, man. I really like the maps now. Like I wasn't crazy about them at first. I was like, man, they just need to throw in all the Black Ops One maps. Like I want to see Firing Range Summit, but like Arsenal is an incredible map. Yeah. I love Hacienda, Gridlock. I'm even a fan Dude, of like Hacienda. Like regardless of like the map like layout or whatever, it's just a beautiful map. Yeah, like, which one's Hacienda? The one with the tiger, it's like the 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 crack out like the the drug palace mansion thing. There's like in the middle there's the Is it a drug palace? Yeah, it's based off of uh Pablo Escobar's Wait, uh, the one with Lambo? What? The l- yeah, yeah. Lambo? Okay. It's like a real like that's kinda what it looked like? It's not like the the exact layout, but it's based off of uh Pablo Escobar's house. You really got that fucking tiger walking underground? Yeah, I, well, I, I think, dude, Pablo Escobar had, I don't know if he had a tiger, but he... If like, he wanted a tiger, he could have. Yeah. There's a tiger, you know how there's like a lobby on one side, and then on the other side there's like a, a room with like a window that you can see B-bomb, and then you go downstairs? Yeah. Downstairs right there, there's a grate, and if you... If you look under that, then there's a tiger walking around. What? Yeah. How the fuck haven't I seen this? Yeah, it's crazy. Or even heard about it. Now I got to go back and... I think if it's quiet, you can hear its footsteps. That's how somebody found it. They were in like a 1v1 search, and he's like, bro, there's somebody right behind me. He's like, what the fuck is going on? He looks down, and there's a tiger wow, walking down. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. funny as fuck. Uh, Hacienda Nepalis. I probably butchered that name, but that's the name of... Pablo Escobar's house. Oh, so show like a, a photo of it. Name for his house. Yeah, it's like the scuff house, but his was just hacienda. Hacienda. It's like There's a- also like a secret. Have you ever looked under the Lambo in the garage and seen all the other cars that are under there? What? what? There's like three or four other. There's Dude, like a green I fucking. Damn. Looks like a Ferrari, another Lamborghini. It's like a second level Dude, that's underneath. What the hell? And dude, in the in the same room where there's a tiger that's walking around there's also a, a big vault we were just like walking around the map and in that vault there's just like bricks of cocaine oh I seen that. All, all like huge huge stacks of and it and you can see it yeah dude <clears throat> and then there's like a there's like a wine cellar dude that map is so detailed there's like a wine cellar and then there's a there's this like room in there where it's like a cigar room so there's like it's like two two 
two uh, chairs, and on one of the chairs is a bat that's that's like leaning, resting on on the chair, <clears throat> and then on the side by Babe Ruth. No, oh. but on the top of the bat, it's just like nails poking out of the bat. Really? Because the where that's the tiger the top is, of the stairs, like where the desk is in that room, or uh, no, it's, a, it's, it's like if you go around the stairs, so it's on this on the base floor. Mm-hmm. So it's like if you went up to. Uh, if you if the tiger's here and you can yeah, go up right. instead of going up you go around oh okay and okay. it's like right there but uh that whole tiger room the reason the tiger's there is because it's a torture room and they like feed people to the tiger what and is that torture or just murder well or a torturous murder well also there's like there's like different tools for like torture right like there. a bat really? with spikes yeah. in it i would never seen this yeah yeah if you look at it it's Dude, like these guys are sickos they like tell a story it's literally like so obviously it's it's as if it's Pablo Escobar's house and yeah. he just has his mansion and then he, that's his work side. And then his other side is his play side where all of his cars are. Damn. I'm guessing his work side involves torture. Torturing people that are trying to ro- wrong him. Dude, it's I used so to be a, I used to be like obs- not obsessed, but like I st- I watched like four Pablo Escobar documentaries and then started watching Narcos right after that. I wonder if that's the only map with like I I <laughs> I love like hidden type of uh, like rooms and stuff. Yeah, just like hidden stuff in games to where it's like, say you say they did something <laughs> with like the like the Lambo part. It's like mm-hmm. you can only see under the Lambo if the car is blown up, and uh, under it you see like you, little like Easter a, eggs. And you stuff. just yeah, explain like, zombies Easter eggs, bro. Really? Yeah, I've never been an Easter egg. Zombies I didn't. Guy. I don't even know what that means. Well, well, like because we played zombies one day, right? But. It's like what you just described, except way more detailed. Like, you actually have to do things, like yeah. take poop from the crowd. Like, they throw shit at you if you do a certain thing wrong, and then you got to take the shit and, like, put it in a bowl and, like, make it fertilizer and then put it next to a tree and then take that and, like, cure the fucking monster that's coming around. It just takes people so long. I think it took 25 days. I think Noah J just completed the last map because they dropped four. Is the first one? Uh, he did. He did like two of them. I think he was the first one to figure out Blood of the Dead, and then they figured out the the like Roman Colosseum one, the one we played. Uh, but uh, I think it was classified. They just figured out like two days ago. It took them a month damn. of straight grinding every day to figure out the Easter egg. Damn. Holy. So they're just there that whole map, like running around trying to like just figure like something yeah, out. pressing buttons, fucking doing anything. When they you can say think Easter of. egg, what is like what is the <laughs> Easter egg? It's like something that it's like something. Is they it hide. literally an Easter egg, or that's just like the metaphor for that's something just the, hidden? That's just or, the term for it's it. It's just like a hidden story. Like there's uh, cut scenes in there. Like dude. when you finish nine, you get Y'all a hidden cut scene. Easter egg, and I th- <laughs> you thought there were Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was literally like a mission: get the Easter egg and like no well, Easter eggs. Easter, Easter eggs just like a term for anything. Like there's Easter eggs within just a hidden something. How lazy. Come on, Joe. Just tucked in the couch. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking hanging TV stand right above it. Oh, there it goes. Uh, yeah. Um, so anyway, I thought Easter egg. I thought there was an Easter egg in Blackout. Um, because whenever you press that button on a ray, it makes the nuke sound. Have you have you heard that? Is that where you open the? Is that you open the floor or whatever? Or is it a different no, part? it's a di- different part. Mm. Do you remember one time we were playing Blackout? And, like, you guys have played a decent amount of Blackout, but we were in Nuketown, and it randomly just goes... Eh, so we were with you? Okay. Eh, yeah. Eh. We are like... I yeah. didn't really know what the fuck was going on, and so you a really didn't know. There's a button in a ray, because that was the first time I heard it, and I've been freaking out, because at that point, that's all I had played was Blackout. Yeah. I didn't even play multiplayer. And it was like a week into the game, and there's a there's literally like a tiny green button that it doesn't even say anything. It doesn't say interact or anything. And you just go up to it and you can press it and it makes this like huge machinery noise. And then it makes the nuke sound. And there was no reason to do it. Like it didn't give you anything or, or, or didn't, you know, you didn't get a challenge from it. So people were like, this has to be part of an Easter egg. So then a ton of people went hunting for, you know, what the Easter egg could be. And then, like, two weeks later, apparently the game was glitched, and that was supposed to be a Dark Ops challenge. But mm. but it just glitched out, and you could press it, but you wouldn't get the challenge. 
So then people started uh, the getting. The whole challenge was just find the button and I guess. press the button. Uh, so then people, people it were went, pressing the button and trying to find. Yeah. Something. So people, there was literally a dedicated Discord of people, just like like hundreds of people that would press the button and go into the game <laughs> and try to figure out the rest of the Easter egg yeah. as if it was zombies. They probably had like a Reddit thread and they yeah, were they updating did. it. Yeah, yeah. And then like, um, uh, you know, like two weeks later people started getting the dark ops challenge for you know pressing the button on array and they were like wow damn so we've been wasting all this time Jeez. so apparently there's not an easter egg on in blackout so is that what it was you just press a button and then that's <laughs> it's a dark ops challenge so like dark ops challenges like challenges that it doesn't tell you what it is but you unlock it whenever you do it uh, so like one of them is kill 100 zombies one of them is make a basket one of them is punch a punch a person to death one of them is loot one of the crates under cargo. Like there's a lot of different dark ops challenges, and and the other one is activate the emergency broadcast, which oh. is just press the button on array. Wow, which really sucks because I was like super into it. I was like I've never been, I've never done Easter eggs. I've never you know yeah. I've never like and, and I was like super in love with Blackout at the at the time. So I was like man, I, I would love to just like start hunting for stuff, but instead of that. But then I realized people were going into PC files and like, oh, they get serious. Yeah. Right. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm not, yeah. I'm not doing all that. But. Yeah, for sure. That's uh, how um for with well, this isn't as big, but on Fortnite you I go into the, I don't I don't know if it's a head casey thing, but you go into the Fortnite literal game files and you see like everything like. A much more detailed just everything about like the sensitivity or your sensitivity your just everything and then there's one thing that says mouse acceleration enabled which like if you play a competitive pc game like everyone always says make sure your mouse acceleration is turned off yeah right? because it like i guess fucks with your aim or something yeah but in like the <clears throat> deep in the fortnite settings there's an option that it's like the mouse excel is just automatically enabled and you have to like what the hell a lot of people say they don't feel the difference but like like you have to type in um like it says like b mouse acceleration equals true and that means it's turned on so yeah. you have to like delete that and type in false oh so and you then actually like have to save go into the, the file, file. Oh, okay, and yeah. like all that shit and like i did all that i don't i honestly couldn't tell a difference but, I think it's just whenever you start moving your mouse, it goes quicker from the start. Instead of having it be like even yeah, all the way, it like yeah. goes quicker. Yeah, I still you start don't really moving. know like exactly what mouse Excel does. I just know everyone says to turn it off. Yeah, <clears throat> but like yeah, you can get same with like H one Z one. Like you can go kind of deep into the nerdy dude you can go just into the files of the game and start seeing shit. Oh, fucking H one Z one dude, it's kind of interesting. A I think I have the same, I have the same like reminiscence of H1 as I do from like classic games. Like I'll, I'll always H1 remember was, I'll always remember that time in H1, which is like, where you know what the very end of, of, you know, Z1 and then going into Z2 and then season three, pre season three, it was just like the best time. That was the game and everybody was yeah. playing that shit. People Every, still ask me all the time. Like, did you give up on H1? I can't believe you gave up. I'm like, bro, H1 gave up on us. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, let's be real. That is true. Dude, the, the PS4 one was actually pretty fun to play for a little bit. It was. But yeah. now after playing Blackout, if you try to go back, it's uh, horrible. Dude. Yeah, no chance. Dude, even just jumping, it's just... It's just so clunky. Yeah, yeah. super clunky. Is that <coughs> just on PS4, though, it's super clunky? No. I don't remember it it's being... On, it's on PC, too. It's, PC I mean, was clunky? Well, if you jump, you, you press the jump button, and then he, like, hovers in the air for, like... 10 right. seconds uh, yeah and it, instead of like blackout feels feels like a blackout does shooter feel good feels like a like an actual shooter dude god is incredible this have shit. you played it on yeah, pc it nah i haven't played it. I, I mean i feel like if i yeah i feel like i should play blackout at least on pc yeah, yeah. i want to try i it. played one game i just i don't know i don't like blackout and it's weird because i like br games but i guess it's just a certain type of br game yeah even though i was i would i will say i haven't like gave it the fairest chance ever like i've probably played like since the actual <laughs> game has came out i think i've played five games of blackout total yeah maybe played and like 15 three of them i probably died instantly <laughs> i wonder so, why you don't like blackout why do you yeah why don't you 
Oh, why don't I? I think it's just too slow. Like I played, I dropped in the other day on because I downloaded it on PC. I played multi multiplayer or pubs, <laughs> and that shit was actually like really fun. Yeah, especially for like, like, I had a better game on my first day of PC than I've ever had on PS4. But like, and that's not even just saying multiplayer or yeah like just in pubs you played pc like, multiplayer yeah oh shit. like pub stomped like i was <laughs> shitting on kids and i don't know if it's because i'm better on pc or there's just shittier people on pc yeah um but i dropped in one blackout game and i just like looted the building and then it's just, i just like walked for 10 minutes so i pulled a doctor disrespect and just like <laughs> just like pretend slept while just like swimming yeah. and shit. Dude, it's tough just to go from forward. dropping like 40 or 50 in a multiplayer match and then going into blackout. I like yeah. it as like, you know, you play multiplayer during the day and then fucking 11 midnight comes around. You're like, fuck it. I'll chill yeah. out. Throw I, some music on. Play but like H1Z one, it's like you drop in and it's like act depending on at least where you drop. Yeah. I mean, I know it's like that in blackout too, but it's not as like. It's not the same it's, as, as falling into Pleasant Valley or some yeah, shit. Yeah, like, just something's, like, you drop, you land, and it's like, you know some action's about to go on. Or you at least, I guess, had some co- sort of goal. Like, at least in Fortnite, Goals it's like, okay, shot. no one's here, farm up, or get loot a little bit, or farm up. But They I need some better sounds or something, man. They need some better headshot sounds. Mm-hmm. That fucking, the two-shot sound in H1Z1, like. Ba-bing. Oh yeah! Oh my yeah, god! That's true. Blackout. All I'm, you hear is that fucking armor. It yeah. just pisses me yeah, off every time. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. The only sound I like, or the sound I really like, is the uh, headshot with the paladin. Like that shit's like brains gushing. Jesus. You get a headshot like with the paladin. <laughs> it's like ripping Good. someone's. How bur- much you like that? <laughs> <laughs> but. <clears throat> that's a dope sound fucking the h1z1 <laughs> headshot sound though i don't think that'll be top tink tink yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was best. so nice then you hear him rage afterwards like this motherfucker yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i miss that too being able to talk to people yeah, yeah proximity chat yeah like it's nothing and like you can say can you do that and you can't do that in blackout can you no but about well, kind i don't know there's like certain scenarios where like you hear them yeah you see people's mic yeah yeah I, I don't know if it was PC though. Maybe it was PS4. But I know I have. I've like. I think it was on PC. I was like, "What the hell? Why do I? Yeah, I hear someone." And I guess I could have just talked right back. I was like, "Ah, oh. I thought I, I'm thinking like I'm on PS4. I'm like, oh, I I don't have my mic plugged in. But on PC, you just you can just set your audio to mic yeah, input. Yeah, you can. So has Blackout like done? Has it like? I think it it, it did a lot for Shroud, right? Like Shroud, like boosted up in in viewership, I think a little bit. I haven't really. Sure. I've never watched a lot of Shroud. I don't know. I've seen like his clips where he's just an animal, he's but a freak. Yeah. yeah, as far as like his stream numbers, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, because I, no I, I think it did. I think during the first week, it did a lot for him, and I I don't think it did as much for Doc as people thought it was going to do. Yeah, I think it, he he went from like fifteen thousand viewers to like twenty two thousand viewers or something like that, which is really good. But I think Shroud literally like doubled in viewers or something. Something Sh- crazy. Shroud's probably just disgusting at it. Oh, well, for sure. Yeah, he is. Are they still playing it every day? Doc's like just that's dying. Yeah, at it. Shroud's still playing it every day, mm. and it, it's weird because I I keep tuning into them, just making sure they're still playing it. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't know, I, I don't I don't know if Blackout like Blackout's still super fun to me, and I, I still really enjoy it. But ever since you know Blake George and I have started like kind of getting better at GBs and yeah. getting better at three v threes, we're just like, this is COD, like this is what we play. Right, we play this. And like blackout is still a lot of fun, but I don't think I I think people, regardless if you want to or not, people are still com- <clears throat> comparing every br to Fortnite. Yeah, it's like any br that comes out, it's like is this going to have the impact that Fortnite had? And in and you know, like Jack said, in, until something's cross platform and right. you know, and until you're able to plug a controller and get aim assist, because right now you can plug a controller into Blackout, but you don't get any aim assist. It's like, what? Why would I? Really? Yeah. Why would I plug a controller into oh, that? Wow. And it's like, like the, the, nothing's going to compete with Fortnite until all of that happens. Well, it doesn't I even matter. Even know, I don't even think that can happen like that. I think Fortnite's a different. That's what I think too. Like, there's I'm, like, there's only a few things that like just happen like that, like fucking Pokemon. 
World of Warcraft, yeah, like Fortnite, Minecraft. Like, yeah, you can't just Mine. recreate. You can't recreate it on purpose. Yeah. Like, I don't think that's even not, Fortnite knew what works. they were no, doing. Like how big it was gonna not. get. That shit's. That's like um. It's almost like a, like ninja. Like it just like catches a certain I think amount of like momentum to where like mm-hmm. everyone's doing it and everyone you know is doing it. So you yeah. just start doing it too. Yeah, it's really. It weird. just becomes like the thing to do. It's really weird because <clears> I've. <throat> You know, I don't, I don't dislike Fortnite as a game. Like, I think it's awesome. I, I still enjoy watching it. I watch and still enjoy watching people play it, but I haven't played it in God knows how long. And I, I saw, uh, and, and there's always a little bit of like saltiness whenever, I, whenever people are like, Hey, do you, you, you should play Fortnite. And I'm like, well, I suck at it. And no, I'm not going to play <laughs> yeah. that shit. Like, cause it got to a point where everybody was playing Fortnite and then everybody was like, you gotta, gotta hop on this Fortnite wave. And then it was like, if you're not watching Ninja, what are you doing? So mm-hmm. everybody who's streaming Fortnite is just getting no viewers except for Ninja. That's not really true. There's a lot of people that are streaming Fortnite on <clears throat> Ninja that are getting hell of you. Well, now I'm saying, I'm saying when it first started like <clears throat> popping off, it was like Ninja and then it was like Myth and Ninja. And then if you looked at the numbers, it was like a hundred thousand, 20,000, 10,000, 2,000, 500, 500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I remember Will was like the first person who was like, man, if you're not ninja, people don't want to watch you. <laughs> right. And at that point... Well, it's like, why would you? you know? Yeah. And so, uh, I forgot where I was going with this. Fuck. Um, oh, oh. But, so, <clears throat> I had like a little bit of like saltiness or animosity not, uh, towards Fortnite or what, whatever. And like, obviously, that's like a theme in my stream. A theme in a... salty? Uh, not like salty, but a theme in a lot of people's stream that don't play Fortnite. Like in Summit, Shroud... Doc stream like people will be like play Fortnite and then they'll just be like Fortnite and then just be like, <laughs> yeah that's somebody like said whole... that on my stream yesterday they were like you should go back to Fortnite it's just like, <laughs> like it's no. never gonna happen <laughs> it's been but, a month since I played but I saw a uh, I saw like a thing on Twitter it was like do you remember the old map and I clicked on it and it's like before Tilted Towers even before Salty and I was like before Salty yeah that wasn't in the original Mm-mm. I think Sal- Salty wasn't in the original wow. it was like retail greasy uh, something else. What? What is it's like four or five POIs? Yeah. Pleasant, pleasant. That's the one. Pleasant Park. Yeah. And yeah, you just, watch it, and they're like in movie. the afterlife. There's like cubes exploding. Yeah. And they're fucking flying around. <laughs> it doesn't even look shit, like the same game. game on the map. Yeah. yeah. Like back then, it was probably just like houses, trees, <laughs> right. houses, trees, houses, trees, water. Like four. Like people. Like I remember, Greasy used to be lit. Like we'd drop into Greasy, and there'd be like a hundred people there. <laughs> I mean, there was only. Yeah, five, like spots five to places land. To, to land. And I, I saw that map and I was like, damn, that shit was actually kind of fun. It was, man. Like when Fortnite first came out, it was like, it was oh, so new shit. too. It was fun. I, I remember mean, the first time that Blake, like, because Blake and George didn't have PCs at the time. And they were like, dude, we should play Fortnite. And they were like, we've never played a BR together. And so I was like, okay, I downloaded it on PC and we tried to figure He was like, we can play together. I was like, I don't think we can. And then we finally. <laughs> found a way and it was like so hype. I was like, I can't believe I'm playing a BR with you guys right now. Yeah. It's like crazy. And you just loot up the three trees and bro, I went back and reacted. It's been months now, but I reacted to my first <laughs> Fortnite video. It was so bad. Dude, dude I was trying to get was, rid yeah. of the pickaxe when I spawned them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how the fuck do I get rid of this thing? I don't want this. And I like got stuck in a room and I tried to, I couldn't figure out how to get out. I was like, holy shit, I'm stuck for the rest of the game. The gas is going to kill me. I was like trying to blow up the wall with a fucking rocket launcher. Like, yeah. I remember, I remember watching that video. Well, yeah. and you can just hit it. You can just, yeah. yeah. Uh, he didn't know. Yeah. It was just damn. so new, man. I might have to find mine. <laughs> just so to bad. see what that. There was, Dude, do you remember how bad you were when you started? Like, yes, I was. I get roasted every time I start a game. I remember playing yeah. with Ava, and and just Ava being like way better than me, <laughs> and like everyone just roasting me for how bad I am, and then I just turn into a, an addict and don't get <laughs> off the game for. You played months. it not too long ago, right? Didn't you tweet out you I had just, like seventeen yeah, kills? Yeah, I I went in a few days ago. Just randomly, because I was bored, just played. I played like, I think I was playing COD on PC. And I was just like, eh, I kind of want to do something else. Like pubs, I was playing pubs for like seven hours straight. Yeah. So we got on Fortnite, and it was my. I mean, I I lied. It wasn't my first game, <laughs> but I tweeted out my first game back. Got seventeen kills. But like literally, I dropped in my first game. I was like, what the hell are these? And it's like balloons that are now in the game. I picked those up and I just like 
I'm floating in the <laughs> air and I just get shotgunned off the rope and I'm like, okay. You can pick is... up balloons and float in the air? Yeah, there's balloons now and they just like put you in the air and you just float away. But like there's no um you can pull out your glider now at any time, so like you won't really I saw that. Unless yeah. you're an idiot, like you won't die to fall damage. Right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my first game in, I spawned, picked up balloons. I was like, what the hell? And I just <laughs> died off rip. Second game, I think I like instantly died again. Then third game, I was like, all right, I'm not going to land like tilted or anywhere. I'm going to land somewhere. I think I landed like, what's the place beside tilted? Salty? Uh, there's a few. <laughs> Loot Lake? Wait, no. The, the, where, where did you always land? Greasy? No. The place salty. Oh, uh, shifty shafts. Shifty shafts. That's my. Sh- that was my. Yeah, shit. that's where I landed and uh, like got like three kills off rip. My my mechanics were like so bad. I'm like hitting wrong buttons. Yeah. I'm not even used to keyboard and mouse anymore. Yeah. But my mechanics were so bad. But got like three kills off rip, and then I started like getting in my zone, and then I got 17 kills somehow, and that's like hard for people who play every day to yeah. do. So I just got in like solo, lucky as shit. Solo? Yeah, in a solo. Damn. I think I was just finding straight shitters, though. I was like, I don't think I fought anyone good that game. Yeah. Unless I just got, like, lucky and just, like, shotgun them in the head, and they, they're they just sitting there, like, good as fuck. But, like, what the fuck? Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and I had no idea, but I don't think I ran into anyone good. And I was pretty happy about my 17. I was like, I'm perfectly content with not playing this game now. Yeah. And just getting off for the night. Yeah, catch me on COD, dude. You got to try PC COD. If you're a, kind of a PC kid, that sh- I played pubs and that shit was way more fun. Like you can like Cuz they're ass or I don't know. I don't know if I'm better or they're just worse. But I would like did you see my uh my five snipes that I got? It was like it was a clip where I got um someone gifted five subs. So I was like, five subs, five snipes. And I'm like, boom, snipe someone, boom, snipe someone, boom, snipe someone. That's three. Someone starts shooting me. Boom, snipe and That's four. Then someone deep, deep, far away starts shooting me. And I'd like do this crazy jumping, like just with the shit out of my snipe, like headshot for him. I'm like, oh my God. That was on PC. <laughs> it, yeah. It was, uh, on my, it was my first day on PC, like not even that many games in. And I did that. And I was just like. Fuck PS4. <laughs> I'm not pl- I don't know if I can go back now. Because yeah, pubs well, were like so much more fun on PC. It yeah. sucks at first because you don't... The buttons are just different. Or yeah. All that stuff. But once you get used to it, like... It's a lot more fun. Dude, yeah, I just forget what it's like to use good weapons. I'm still on the dark matter grind. I'm like 12 streams in or uh, something. Geez. Are you really? Yeah. I think I've done 20... I've done 20 guns, and there's 27 that you got to do. Holy shit. It's too late to go back now. Yeah. Yeah. People are like... playing hardcore? Yeah. Hardcore every day. I was playing hardcore yesterday with an MX-9 going for headshots, and I was like... I literally was... I kept kept having to do this to not rage. (laughs) Oh, I'd have to... Yeah. Yeah. And And then I was just like, I think I'd rather play PUBG on Xbox One than play hardcore. (laughs) <laughs> dude it's fun whenever you're doing good because you can like rack up tons yeah, of headshots yeah. and shit you just have to forget about like kd and just playing cod correctly <laughs> i just I people just do it people will be like you're getting shit on I'm yeah like, friendly reminder chat i'm going for headshots and when i'm using a smg with no attachments or like yeah or i guess it wouldn't really well no i did start a prestige my weapon so i have like no attachments and it's like I'm using a Spitfire going for headshots and yeah. I'm aiming at their head, but once you shoot one bullet, it's just <laughs> <laughs> like you can't really control it. And it's like, you're getting shit on in hardcore. It's like, no, I'm going for headshots. <laughs> dude, I remind them every two minutes when yeah. you have to. It's, dude, hardcore pissed. It's like embarrassing. I get embarrassingly pissed. Yeah. Like I get so like genuinely <laughs> pissed off. And like you can even uh, like I'm getting pissed just even thinking about it, <laughs> but like I just want to slam my desk. Like I'm just cursing left and right. Did you try the combat knife and before I, you gave up? Or I haven't tried that one yet. I'm on. <laughs> I've done the ARs. <laughs> I've done the ARs, and now I'm. I think I have two sub. I'm like, I have like one and a half subs left to do, Dude. and then I think I'm done. I don't think I'm gonna. 
That's it. You're not yeah. doing the tag. Like, you can just do it over the course of like the year. Yeah. You know, just have like something, yeah, something to, look to do. To. I yeah. mean, it, it does give me something to do every time I get on, right. which is why I do kind of do it. And it gives, I guess, the stream yeah. something to like. Gives you a purpose. They see, yeah. They see like the, the purpose or like some yeah. kind of goal that I'm trying to get while playing. Yeah. But like, holy shit, do I get mad. <laughs> like, these people are playing. If you're one of these people. You piss me off. Like <laughs> somebody pulls out the fucking people, ICR. Yeah, and, like they're really the playing I, hardcore yeah. to like play <laughs> yeah, hard. To, like, get the other KD day I got up. so mad because I was I don't know if I was running around with I was running around with the auger DMR and this kid's like talking shit in the post game lobby <laughs> every game. <laughs> so finally I, I get Summit Dom and I pull out a fucking Maddox and I drop like seventy five and fifteen or some shit. I'm just streaking them the whole game and I'm like fuck you. And I go back to the auger and just start getting shit on again. I just wanted them to know like if I wanted to I would Dude, fuck. You that are. shit happens to me they're all just the time. Posted up with an ICR, uh, like on a head glitch. Like they're not going for headshots. No, no like no. they're just going for like sh- KD. Dude, wait till you try the knife too. I thought because you know it's a hundred headshots, and then you have like the technical challenges for the gun. The knife though, you got to get two hundred kills for like the uh, just the normal challenge, and then the technicals is so like instead of headshots, it's just two hundred knife kills. Two hundred knife kills. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought, but it took it took a while, oh, yeah. and then you have to like. What is it? Five times you have to knife somebody, pick up their gun, and then kill them with it. You have to get five kills without dying five times Wait, with a knife. You have to find the same guy? <laughs> the same guy. What? And kill him with his own gun after you knife him. Dude, I was fucking Dude, great. That- <laughs> it took me a whole stream yeah, to do just, like, the technical that's... challenges of the knife. Wow. Yeah, yeah that just sounds Jeez. like it would piss me off. Should it be sick, though, when you get the diamond-studded knife? I was running around with yeah. it. That, yeah, a dark matter true. knife would be Hell sick. Yeah. Um, fuck, what was I gonna say? Something about that. Something that just pisses me off and <laughs> with the challenges, dude. Oh, like the even the revenge medals. It didn't. It like would piss me off on and off. But like, I'd be, like some guy would kill me, and then I'd be like, how the fuck am I supposed to determine whether I'm killing him? Like someone's gonna kill him and like i'm not gonna be able to find him and like that yeah. shit was pissing me off yeah. i'd like go a whole game not like get one i'm just like how like i can't control this <laughs> yeah but those challenges boy do they piss me off yeah, we just need some league play or something man i want yeah. something else to focus on i want to finish that and then do like 10 prestige and then hopefully by that time league play comes league out. play will be yeah there. that's like all i got right now is challenges uh, when like, league play comes out that's gonna be rough ooh. for me I, that's all I'm gonna play. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna play. You think it'll be like uh because I didn't play World War Two, but Ray was explaining to me last night it was like an Elo system as opposed right. to Black Ops Two, which was just gain one that, or lose one fifty, gain ten. Yeah, is that kind of like League of Legends. Yeah. Apparently, I mean, apparently World War Two is the best the best system we ever had. It yeah. just it was just so fluky because not enough people played it. Right. So uh, I think I I think apparently if I think a lot of people are gonna play league play in Black Ops Four. Oh, for sure they so, are. It, it should be it should be a lot of fun. So far, I think this is like every every cracked kid like like that clip of that kid just sliding, sliding, sliding. Oh. Oh. But like every there's so many. Like, I feel like in this COD, I feel like a lot of these people kind of die off super early. But like all the little cracked kids that like want to go pro, yeah. like they're gonna be out and about when league play comes comes out Bro, sure. gonna it's be gonna crazy. be that such try hard like especially if there's a real ranking system like mm-hmm. people are gonna want to be that whatever they name the ranks like the top yeah. rank and i'm gonna fight them for it it's crazy because there was like a whenever black ops 2 came out it was like you know gold silver whatever platinum and then master prestige and then there was also a prestige <clears throat> above that that was like pro player i just hate when but shitty like that players can happened. get that in league player there was I, yeah I just, they 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 like said that that was going to be a thing oh okay but then and then it they never, never happened yeah. was it actually hard to do though no master prestige was super easy yeah that's yeah. what i hate i hate when the rank like in halo 3 like there was a halo 2 had the best ranking system there was like one maybe two people to like get legit 50s right and then um like everyone else is 
the really really good people are like struggling around like level four, like 42 to like 47 kind of hovering around yeah. that's like the best of the best so like still just hovering around there i just remember trying to get like 34 and it would change from like the yeah. blue to purple almost yeah. was it 33 to 34 or 32 30, to 33 i think 30 yeah 33 was like green yeah and like something else and then 34 was like a yellowish okay yeah and then 37 I th- or 38 was like bluish then 40 was red but anyway i liked like 38 i had to go into team snipers a, and that shit to get higher than like 29 yeah, or something that's like a dope i hate when shit's just not hard to do like right. halo 3 level 50 like everyone had a level 50 oh dude i had a 50 and me and mike were playing the other day sheesh you're bad dude kids are still grinding halo 3 we were gonna go to like one of those microsoft store tournaments like the second game we play i go like 2 and 15 and doubles <laughs> like we're playing on contract and you can tell like people just oh, you yeah. know, they know the game yeah. inside and tell out who, oh there's a whole oh it pissed me off there's a whole um not really a whole but there's a discord that um people will play like money eights and shit for halo 3 it kind of it fell off now but at a time i was even streaming halo 3 for a little bit but there's like a discord of like 20 people yeah that'll play like money eights and these kids are like kids i've never really heard of some i used to like kind of, like i just i'm familiar with their name right they played back in the day but they weren't shit yeah but like they kept playing Halo oh yeah 3. 10 years later there's some shit later. now bro. it's like the same kids that are like still playing mw2 and dude, those <laughs> kids are fucking free and then they'll like beat you that game and literally came out good, when cod four know? did and they're still playing and it. i'm just playing money eights against these kids like just like getting smacked and just i'm just like god and like they think they're good i'm like getting picked last and shit in money <laughs> eights i'm like <laughs> i'm like y'all are, like if i played this shit as much as y'all yeah but. dude i was watching mike and uh roy play and like they were losing matches oh, or yeah. winning like 25 to 23 yeah, I'm like, i don't sub- stand a fucking chance <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i don't even know the spawns yeah i assume they're losing to the people that would, would still play it's yeah. crazy because there's a there's a possibility that the next year the next the next year of halo is going to be halo 3 yeah. so you gotta think these kids that have been grinding for 10 years that's now a possibility time. what am yeah, i yeah. gonna do just like this, there's like a there's rumors that Modern for Two Remastered might come out, and there are still kids that play Modern for Two Money Eights. Wow! So like those kids are gonna be, it's gonna be their be- the best day ever for those guys. But then you got to think like, even though they've been grinding for so long, like in, in my Modern for Two Throwback Tournament last year, uh, whenever Jack came over to the house, we and we let one of those teams in, one of the teams that have been grinding forever. They wiped through a lot of pro teams, and then they got to the last the last team, which was a pro team, and then it was like Temp Slasher, um, uh, Classic, and Happy, and that team beat them. And it's like, so even though these guys have been grinding oh, Modern yeah. Warfare 2 that forever. would happen in Halo 3, too. Yeah, it's like pro players are still <laughs> pro players. Like, yeah. it, it takes them... You know, it might take them like five or six hours, but once their shot gets on and they right. understand the spawns, like everybody's fucked. That's all yeah. it is. Like you understand the spawns and you can shoot good. Yeah. Boom. Once you got that, you know how to like move around. The, the rest map will and... just like, it's just in the back of your brain. Yeah. It's yeah. still there somehow. Nah, Black Ops 4 got to be around for <laughs> two years, three years. No way. Black Ops 4 is like not the game next year. Is it I Infinity mean, Ward again? Yeah, it's a, it's gonna be Modern Warfare Four next year. Modern Warfare Four, Ew. which if anything it just sounds ugly. I don't know, man. They've had what was their last game? <laughs> was it Infinite or Advanced? Infinity Ward's last game was Infinite Warfare. Infinite the, Warfare. The game before that was Ghost. The game before that was Modern Warfare Three. So they've only had like one bad one game. bad game. Yeah, I think the only I, COD games I like is Black Ops Two and Ghost. But. I was never. What? No <laughs> <laughs> one's agreeing with me. <laughs> That's like me saying the only Halo games I've liked are like Halo Reach, <laughs> Halo <G-G-G-5> Reach, and more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are good ones, but yeah, all the ones back in the day, the Modern War, yeah, the Infinite Infinity Ward boots on the ground games. The Modern Warfare legit. series is better than the Black Ops series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, it's like that's like the different. Those are like. The two best, though, for sure. Yeah. But 
I've always I've always been more of like a mono warfare kid. Is it like one company makes the Black Ops, one makes the Modern Warfare? Yeah, and then the other what ones just there? started. Tra- I mean, Sledgehammer has only made two games. Which ones have they made? Ghost, AW, and World War Two. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> So they're still like working on. So they're stuff. 0 for 2. <laughs> they're still trying to get on the board. <laughs> we'll get them one day. All right. I think we're good to wrap up. Yeah. How are we? Has it been? Where are we at, Joe? Far enough. All right. Far enough. All right. All right. Close it this out. This has Will. been a great episode of the Flycast <laughs> Plus One. How, the f- how do they end this? Hitch. Hitch. Hit him with the music. <laughs>